Hello, you're watching Forex Trader Calendar on Insta Forex TV channel with me, Yekaterina Stichina. On Thursday and Friday, financial markets will pay attention to the following statistics. On Thursday, the United Kingdom will publish its services PMI data. Experts anticipate a mere drop to 53.6 points. In March, the Services Purchasing Managers Index in the UK totaled 53.7 points, up from 52.7 points locked in February. Analysts had projected a rise to 53.9 points. Activity growth rates uh, in the services sector increased marginally in March in comparison with February. However, in the first quarter of 2016, the growth rates turned out to be the lowest since the March quarter in 2013. Nevertheless, any PMI reading above 50 points to growing activity, while prints below the threshold to reflect a decline. On Friday, the U.S. Department of Labor will release its jobless rate statistics for April. Unemployment is expected to stay flat at 5%. In March 2016, the U.S. unemployment aged up through economists had predicted the same score as in February. The jobless rate inched up to 5% from 4.9%. The U.S. economy generated 215,000 new vacancies in March. Average hourly earnings were up by 0.3%, exceeding forecasts. The U.S. Federal Reserve considers the jobless rate one of the three key indicators, alongside inflation and GDP, that it takes into account when making interest rate decision. The higher unemployment is, the lower chances are that the Fed will decide to tighten its monetary policy. On Friday, Canada will report on its jobless rate for April as well. Analysts predict a 0.1% rise compared to the preceding months. In March, Canada's unemployment made up 7.1%, down from 7.3% in February. Economists had not supposed any changes in the reading. Meanwhile, the country's economy added 40,600 positions in March, the print beat the experts' expectations by almost four times. A month earlier, the economy lost an unexpected 2,300 jobs. In addition to these events, the following economic statistics will see the light of the day at the end of the trading week. On Thursday, Japan's markets will be closed due to a national holiday. Australia will provide reports on retail sales and trade balance. China will unveil its data on services business activity. Canada will disclose building permit statistics. And the United States, uh, the weekly report on unemployment claims. On Friday, the Reserve Bank of Australia will announce its monetary policy statement, delivering information about the country's economic situation and inflation. The Swiss National Bank will reveal its foreign currency reserves data. The United States will end the trading week with the release of the known farm employment change report. You have watched the Traders TV calendar on InstaForex TV channel with me, Ekaterina Stichina. Have a nice trading with InstaForex.